What's up guys, welcome back to another video. Today we have some LED headlights and LED blinkers from Oxido. So we're gonna be swapping those in out for the factory halogens. We have some replacement LED headlights for the low beams. And then we have some replacement blinkers. The blinkers are amber colored still, but the headlights will have that classic white look. So first things first, the packaging itself is actually super nice. This was vacuum sealed in plastic. I have already opened that just to save some time here. Um, then inside for the low beams, comes with a nice pair of white gloves and that's just so you're keeping your oils off from the bulbs and they're not gonna burn out too early. And then you open these up here and the bulbs are very neatly placed into this foam. And then for the blinkers, the ones we got actually already have the extra resistance built into them so you don't end up with hyper flash. And when you open these up, They also come in this nice packaging to help protect them. And you can see these ones have the LED bulbs all over surrounding the entire housing. So these should be a huge improvement over the factory blinkers. But first things first, you're gonna need to pull the entire headlight housing off because there is not a clear access on the back to get to the bulbs. Um, to save some time, I have also already undone these. They are just resting in place. Disassembling these is super easy. There's one long bolt, seven mil head, pull that out. And then there are just three snaps on the back of the headlight. And you can either use a screwdriver to help pry those off, or sometimes you can just grab on the front of the housing and pull that off right there. All right, well, let's cut to the chase. Let's get these things installed and finally see what they look like. So now that I have these out of the box, one super cool thing to note is these both have an individual cooling fan built into them. Um, so that's just to show how high powered these are going to be. I'm super pumped to see how bright these look. guys so we now have all of the bulbs in um i will make a quick note that if you buy these headlights for your jeep grand cherokee um factory bulb that comes in these is a straight plug i forget the letter that corresponds to these but the oxido bulbs i got are 90 degree angle and as you can see they do still fit but you do have to finagle them in there a little bit and what I found after doing the first one, the easiest method was to actually just unscrew this plate and then fit the bulb into it. And then it allows you to be able to put the whole thing back in straight. So you don't have to put it at an angle on here and then spin the whole plug within this, this piece of rubber. And so yeah, I will say this is rubber too. So it is still pretty doable to get this plug just wedged down in there. It does not pinch the wires at all. They come out on the top here. So everything should be safe, um, but that's just a quick little note in case you are doing this yourself. But then moving on to blinkers here, these were about as straightforward as it gets. You literally pull out the, the bulb from the housing and pop the bulb out of that plug, pop the new one in and plug it in and you're good to go. So now we're gonna go ahead and get this whole housing put back on and finally see what these look like. But then over here on this other side, I actually did have a bit of a weird problem with the blinker. Um, when I would plug the bulb in, it actually was not working at first. And what I ended up having to do was pry out each contact a little bit. I did not seem to notice a problem with the factory bulb. So I have to assume something is up with this Oxido bulb. Um, but now that I've pried out each contact, it seems to be working okay. But if that does appear to be an issue at all, um, I will just contact Oxido and hopefully I can get that sorted out and see if maybe they've had an issue like that in the past. So let's get these headlight housings put back on. And it's actually pretty close to nightfall, so we're gonna be able to go out and test these right away.
will go turn on the high beams with it and see if you can notice much of a difference. So even with the high beams turned on, basically all it does is give it a little bit of a yellow glow and these white um, low beams pretty much drown it out entirely. I don't think they're so bright where you're going to be blinding everyone on the road. Um, they're supposed to be designed to where they have that cutoff point and you're not blinding people, but I guess we will have to see. Um, this doesn't really see much road time anyways, so I guess it's probably not a huge deal if it does. Alright guys, so if you haven't noticed already, I did not show the after results of the LED blinkers and that is because I was having some issues with them. So as you already know, the passenger side, I had a problem with it not turning on at first, but once I bent out the contacts, I was able to make it function. But then the driver side, everything seemed like it was working properly, but then as I was putting the headlight housings back on, I decided to take a minute and test the function of all the lights before I get everything together just to find out something doesn't work and I have to tear everything back apart. And I'm glad I did because what I ended up finding was with the driver's side, although it seemed like it was functioning properly when I initially hooked it up, once I would turn on the blinker, I actually was still getting hyper flash even though the blinkers are designed to have that extra resistance and not have hyper flash, I still had it. But then on the passenger side, after I bent out the contacts and it seemed like everything was working properly, once I turned on the blinker, I actually did not have any blinking whatsoever. It was just a solid light. So what I ended up doing was I pulled those right back out and I swapped the factory bulbs back in just so I'd have blinkers in the meantime. And as soon as I got back home, I reached out to Oxido and I have to give a huge shout out to Oxido customer service because they immediately sent me out another set of bulbs to try. So this right here is the first bulb that they sent me that is supposed to have the additional resistance already built into the bulb that I was having problems with. But then this time they decided to switch it up and send me this other set to see if this would solve my issue. But then this set here actually does require the extra resistance that was already built into the previous bulb. So then they're also kind enough to send me the resistor kit that I can install in pair with these new bulbs. So now fingers crossed that these new bulbs are going to solve my issue and get everything working properly and that it was not an issue with the Jeep or the wiring. But then in the meantime, I did have a chance to get the Jeep out on the road, and I'm sure this is what everyone's been waiting for. I had a chance to get the Jeep out on the road and put the new low beams to the test. And I have to say, I am super impressed. It is literally a night and day difference from the original bulbs to these new Oxido LED bulbs. It just lit up the entire road and all the surroundings. And here's the footage I have for you right now. <laughs> 